what is up guys it is monday july 22nd the first day of prep i am going down to the gym in my apartment to do my fast cardio it's steady state so nothing crazy i can walk really fast i can do bike even up the pool for 20 minutes it's currently 6 55 so let's go ahead and get this done So it is currently 4.42, facet cardio, no problem. I'm not gonna have any issues with facet cardio in the morning just simply because it's just 20 minutes, 20 minutes. I could walk fast, I could do the elliptical, I could do the bike, I can split it up 10 minutes doing one thing, 10 minutes doing another if I really wanted to. It's not high intensity, it's low intensity, it's steady state, it's not anything where it's going to just kill me. So that was totally fine. Came home, did my dog's breakfast, and then I had a leg day today. Unfortunately, I was just so focused. I didn't have time to film any of my leg day. Let me put this down because I'm moving all around. I'm on my computer. I'm doing some work as usual. Okay, there we go. So I was not able to film anything in the gym today just simply because I was just so, so focused. I know that when I am trying to film myself here and there, it does take up time. And my workouts, they're going to take me, just depending on what I'm doing, it's going to take me easily an hour and a half to two hours. So in order to cut down on time, I don't even like to get on my phone I don't get on social media someone text me unless it's my husband or my best friend or someone then I'll check to see who it is I'll respond back but I just cuz so I, you waste so much time when you're on the phone in the gym you might think oh five three like a minute here a minute there if you're looking at your phone after every set it adds up so I had intense leg day today I was really really focusing on engaging and firing up the glutes because um let me tell you something after I went to that bodybuilding competition I realized why bikini girls are obsessed with their glutes and just how important they are so really making sure that I'm engaging them it's hard when I'm in the gym by myself because I want to film this stuff for you but if I had Lo with me, it would be much easier, but he works, you know, he's got a full-time job. He's got to bring in income too, so I'll get what I can. This week, my workouts haven't changed yet. My coach hasn't changed them, but she did switch up my nutrition a little bit, so I have no more red meat just simply because I told her. I know, I've always noticed it. Like, I don't eat a ton of it, but whenever it is in my system, I feel like I always end up bloated. I get a stomach ache, so we just completely took it all out. So now my protein sources are going to be ground turkey, chicken, and I have seafood now. So any white fish, tuna, cod, I can do shrimp, which before I even really got into the mode of competing, I was basically pescatarian anyway with a little bit of, you know, I might have a little chicken here and there, but that was my style of eating. So I'm totally good with that. Um, and salads, green beans, because when you are in a competition prep you don't want to eat anything that's not going to digest well because you don't want any excess bloating obviously we're trying to slim down and trim down everything so leg day went great um, came home I was exhausted <laughs> and I actually did something that I don't do often I took a nap just simply because I need to really honor my rest time especially after a day like today where it was a little bit intense when you're in the gym basically you are shredding and ripping up your muscles so you have have to make sure you take proper recovery time now that I'm going back and looking at everything that I did the 16 weeks prior to prep I realized I was not taking the proper rest days I was working out Sunday through Friday so you know I work <laughs> I work Tuesday Wednesday Friday Saturday and although Friday and Saturdays were my off days they are my long days in the salon so essentially I'm not resting. It was just really difficult for me to wake up super, super early, walk the dogs, go to the gym on a Friday morning, be to the salon at 10 o'clock, get off at 637. It, it was just a lot. So what I've had to do, because I understand that this is something that I am so serious and focused on, I said, you know what, let me rework my schedule a little bit. So I changed my work schedule on Fridays from instead of working 10 to 630 or 7, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm now working 10 to 5. So that way when I get off, I can go and work out 
workout so that way Sunday can officially be a rest day so no working out no working in the salon that is my actual recovery day because even if you're not a competitor or an elite athlete if you're working out hard you need to have a recovery day because that is when you get injuries and other problems that you don't want so took a nap now I'm just sitting here doing some editing I had my third meal already I'll have my fourth meal and I have a timer on in an hour and 24 minutes I have five meals but um I have an option for a six if I want and I just kind of told myself you know what you need to start striving for those six meals because right now calories aren't low but I do know once calories do start getting lower I'm going to be wishing that I just had that extra food so I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and get it in now. Ooh, confession time. So last night after nachos I had a little brownie that I wanted to eat. I was going to eat it but I was full and when I'm full I just simply don't eat and so this morning when I woke up I ate that brownie. I ate that brownie not because I ate that brownie because I wanted it and I knew if I did not get rid of it it was going to haunt me all day long so the brownie's gone and it's out of my mind it wasn't a major piece of brownie it was just a little piece so I didn't feel bad about it because <laughs> I know I mean should I feel bad I don't have a bad relationship with food I guess and because I knew that was my last brownie I wasn't going to be having one for a long time like I was okay with it I'm not going to perpetually be baking brownies or buying things like that I told Lo this morning yo um I'm only going to be buying snacks and treats that you like because if it's in the house, I am going to eat it. And also, I don't expect him to eat the way that I'm eating at all. He can do whatever he wants. He, totally fine. Now, he has switched up his eating. He is eating much healthier. Praise the Lord. He is eating much healthier. But um, I'm just going to buy the snacks that he likes. And thankfully, we don't like the same things. He likes sweet. I like salty. So, all good with the occasional brownie. But um, So, that's going to be a wrap for day one. So far, so good. Of course, it's only day one. Energy is high. We're not exhausted, dead dog tired just yet, but I just wanted to update you guys and I will see you in the next clip. Peace. What is up guys? It is Wednesday, July 24th, 8.20. I'm not feeling it today. I am just like, ugh. I did not sleep well Monday night. I was just tossing, turning, hot. My stomach started hurting. Then I woke up Tuesday morning and ta-da, period is on. So I'm not feeling blah or exhausted because of prep. I feel like crap because of my period. I don't know about you guys, but I know for me, when my period comes on, I just feel depleted. I have no energy. I just, it feels like the life is being sucked out of me. So I'm just... I'm just going through the motions today. So I just ate. I am running behind because I accidentally overslept this morning. Already did my fasted cardio, took the dogs out, ate my breakfast. And I'm just going to try to make myself feel somewhat better. I was just going to go, but I'm going to put a little brow or mascara on, you know, just whatever. We're just we're just doing what we can to make ourselves feel better at this point. But um, today is a shoulder day. My workouts have not changed yet. So therefore, I'm not really going to be implementing too many workouts in for week one of bikini prep. But, uh, oh. I just don't want to do anything today, but that's okay. All right, let's work. We got to go. We got to push through. What is up, guys? It is Thursday, July 25th, 4-13. Today has been a good day. Woke up feeling much, much better. We are coming to a close on the period, so you guys know how that goes, but um, worked out already, showered. Actually, I have my girl Lori coming over because we're going to film some videos for my beauty channel so that's what I'll be doing today but um today was chest and triceps I don't know what it was today I don't know if it was mentally or if I just feel exhausted because I am on my period but I just I don't know for some reason I didn't feel as strong today I'm just gonna chop it up to just you know bleeding <laughs> but um tomorrow is check in with the coach so we will see if I dropped any weight um, I want you guys to know that the weight is just a guide this is an elite 
physique sport and you have to work out and you have to drop body fat so that way so basically I already have the foundation so now we're just peeling back the layers because the leaner you are the more your muscles will show so um right now I'm currently 140 I'm just gonna guess and it's not about the weight for bikini competitors you don't have to be a certain weight it's literally like what you look like but I'm gonna guess my stage weight is probably gonna be somewhere around 132 to 130 pounds that's what I'm gonna guess and I could be wrong not sure but um check in tomorrow and we will see what the coach says and then next week we're gonna start with brand new workouts and I'm a little bit anxious about that so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for the check-in and physique check what is up y'all it is friday july 26 going on eight o'clock just finished up my coffee and i will be sure to leave my weight check-in and my physique check on the screen um i'm struggling this morning and i wasn't gonna film because I was like, eh, this is irrelevant to my prep series. I'm not struggling because I'm in prep. In fact, like, all things have basically remained the same. Like, I still have my same workouts. Um, we just, my post-workout gym meal, instead of 4.5 ounces of chicken or protein, it's just 4 ounces. And then I do have the facet cardio in the morning. But I'm not stressed because of prep. I'm just exhausted first of all because of my period. When my period comes on it just zonks me out and it takes the life out of me. And then July is just a hard month for me. Just I don't like to talk too much about just personal stuff but it's just a hard month for my business just simply because it's a slower month. So you know you have that financial stress and that financial worry. So um, just dealing with that and y'all know when you have that kind of stress when you know if you're an entrepreneur you're running a small business you know it, it just it can just be a very very scary place but I just have to keep reminding myself this too shall pass. It's like this every month. Well not every month every year at this time. It's just July. It's just a slower month for me in the salon just because everyone's gone on vacation so just that stress on me and uh I feel bloated period just just a mix of things of emotions but I just want y'all to know that I feel this way not because of prep I just feel this way probably it's intensified one because of my period and it's just it's just a little bit of a tight month but um other than that I guess we'll go ahead and wrap up week one vlog everything is everything um other than that, I guess we'll just go ahead and recap for week one. Week one was smooth sailing. Um, it's definitely an adjustment waking up and doing the fasted cardio first. It's just low intensity, so I'm only walking, you know, really, really fast. On the, I can do the bike. I can do the elliptical. I, cho I choose to walk really fast because it's just mindless to me, and I don't really have to think about it too much. But this waking up in the morning and doing that and adjusting to the new schedule, I am blessed. Like, this is the ups and downs of, you know, being a entrepreneur having your own small business when it's good it's good you know the good parts I can set my own prices I set my own hours I can make my own schedule you know but then the downfall of it is oh my gosh when it's slow you start freaking out but um thankfully because I do set my own hours and make my own schedule it makes it very very easy for me to do what I need to do you know what I mean as far as okay well I know if I need to block out this amount of time to go to the gym or if I have an appointment I, you know I can make and rearrange my schedule so that is nice but just really really adjusting to as soon as I wake up go straight go ahead do that facet cardio because I know I realize that if I wait too long to do my facet cardio I'm gonna be super super hungry so I wake up at 5 45 I slept in this morning actually I slept in till about 6 20 6 30 ish but um I know I need to get that fasted cardio done by 7 a.m. Because if not, I'm going to be hungry and it's just going to be one hell of a ride trying to do it hungry. Like once I'm hungry, <laughs> game over. I can't function. I can't work out. So adjusting to that. Um, I feel like I was hungrier this week, but again, it's because of my period. I did have, what did I do? Last night I had just a piece of a Dove chocolate just to like ease my mind just the craving I never crave chocolate at all but uh 
you know, period life. <laughs> and what else? Um, I think that's it. I just, I'm just really not feeling, I'm not feeling it today. So sorry if this last part is just kind of like blah, but I told you guys I was going to show you the good, the bad, the ugly. This is, I wouldn't even say this is ugly this is just kind of womp womp I'm well aware that this is only week one and like I said I feel like this not because of prep just because of life and just because you're on prep doesn't mean life stops and I do realize that the closer I get to the show then I'm probably really going to start going into the prep and the diet feels like 100% but other than that like I'm pretty good about knowing what's going on with me I'm a self-aware queen I know when okay you feel this way because of that you feel this way because of this and I know exactly why I feel the way that I feel I was going to like measure with my um, measuring tape my waist and my thighs but I just feel like that's probably not a good idea to do that this week just simply because I am up a pound but I know I went up because it's just water from being bloated from period so I feel like measuring it today is just not a good representation so I'll do that next week so um until next time guys we are on our way to week two of prep we are officially 14 weeks out from show day now so I will see you guys in the next video peace